Hey, welcome to this quick demo of Spring Boot and Spring Loaded. So I have an STS here. I'm going to use a Spring Starter Project Wizard, which talks to the Initializer app. I'm going to make this a new using the Web Starter. It's going to create the app and give me an app that runs. Just going to run that using the built-in launcher we have for boot apps. Just checking that's behaving. That also creates a launch configuration that I'm going to edit in a minute. Uh, into this app, I'm going to add a new controller. Controller, I'm going to add a configuration. I'm going to add a simple request mapping. String so that's all fine. I'm going to run it, but this time I'm going to turn on Spring Loaded. So all I do is pass in a Java agent and turn off the verifier. Don't panic. Now, there's nothing STS just here about the reloading that's going on. Spring Loaded runs entirely independently of STS. I'm just, it's easier to show you uh, inside STS from a demo point of view. So now the app's being modified at startup so that it can be changed at runtime. So the app's running, let's check endpoints there. Yep, my simple endpoints there. And with Spring Loaders in the mix, so I can edit my app without restarting. I can do do an extract method refactoring. So this creates a new method on the fly to show you it's doing something different. Yeah, so that's all working. I can let's add another request mapping. Um, yeah, it's creating, let's have a request parent. started again. So the old endpoint's there, but also the new endpoint is there. Um, it supported a request param. Let's pass that in. That's working. I can change this binding for the request param. It goes back to the old one. There you go. I can carry on adding more methods or more uh, handlers. Change those handlers, alter the annotations, add them and remove them, all without restarting the app, all because of what Spring Loaded is doing under the covers. There are restrictions, but covering those would be boring. I just wanted to show the cool stuff.